And welcome back. We're less than a month away now from the biggest event in golf all year, the 2021 KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship, teeing off May 25th at the Southern Hills Country Club right here in Tulsa. And after more than a year of slow down business during the pandemic, it's set to be a big boost for Tulsa. And we're digging deeper for you this morning into what that boost looks like. Joining us live, PGA Championship Director Brian Carnes. Good morning. So glad to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So let's kind of set the stage here. The championship coming up this Memorial Day weekend, set to see as many as, what, 8,000 fans in attendance each day. So let's talk economy. How much money does it actually bring into our city? Yeah, you know, we're optimistic that it's in, in the $25, $30 million range. Uh, Tulsa Regional Chamber did a study <clears throat> before we came last year, and it was in excess of $40 million. Uh, obviously, we're, we know that it's going to be a little lower than that just because of the, the smaller capacity that we have. Um, but, you know, we're really, really excited because we still feel like there's a tremendous opportunity to bring back fans in a safe and responsible way. Um, and there's going to be a lot of people coming to town for this. So I think it's a great way to sort of kick off the summer uh, I think, you know, you had the Masters a couple weeks ago. People are, are out playing golf again. The weather's wonderful. We had a great day yesterday here at Southern Hills for our defending champion, Ken Tanagawa, to be in town. Uh, so we're excited because it's 29 days until the KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship. And then we'll I'd lead right into to the 22 PGA Championship, which is going to be even bigger um, in terms of an economic impact. Oh, absolutely. So how do you guys go about choosing a venue for this championship? How did you choose Tulsa? <coughs> Well, I think, you know, first of all, the, the golf course is, is that really at the top of that list. You need an incredible test for players. Uh, and Southern Hills has almost an unparalleled legacy uh, when it comes to hosting championships. Next year, uh, the 22 PGA Championship, it's going to be the fifth uh, time that we've hosted the PGA Championship. And that's the most at any venue. So I think you have an iconic golf course, uh, you know, but really above all that. And, and my job as a championship director on site in these markets is to really connect with the community to recruit the volunteers, obviously find corporate support, uh, people to buy tickets. And one of the biggest reasons that we continue to come back to Tulsa is because every time we're here, um, we're supported really across the board. Um, you know, that's one of those things that, that people forget. Um, you know, maybe they see the big market or, or, or they think, wow, we want to be in New York City or L.A. Uh, but the reality is when we come to places like Tulsa, the support we feel from the community, from the club, people just have a sense of ownership that, that this is, you know, a part of the community and what they do well. And, and it's really, in my opinion, it makes Tulsa professional sports town um, because all the major golf organizations, they look at Tulsa and say, we want to be at Southern Hills. Uh, we want to be a part of that community because they support our championships so well. And one last question before we let you go. We know this could be the biggest live sporting event in Tulsa since that pandemic began. So I have to ask you, what kind of safety measures do you have in place when people are considering to come out there and support those players? Yeah, it's a pretty extensive list. I think that the easiest thing to do is go to our website, srpga.com. We have a whole list. It's called the Commitment to Health. Uh, I think a lot of the practices you've seen the last year uh, whether it's masks, um, you know, a, a number of other things, you know, social distancing, uh, hand sanitizing, uh, those are all going to be in place and they're kind of laid out there on our website. Um, but, you know, I, again, I think at the end of the day, we're, we're trying to do this safe and responsibly. We've been in, in, in consultation with the city of Tulsa this this entire time. And, you know, the beauty of a 200 acre golf course is there's a lot of room for people to spread out. So we feel like, you know, for folks that are certainly dipping their toe back into the live event, uh, this is a great place to start because there are spots on this golf course that you could walk and you could be, you know, by yourself or with no one within 100 feet of you. So uh, we think it's a great place to be outside. I know that's one of the, the places that, that people are really encouraging events to take place. And, and so we feel like this is a perfect fit. All right. Well, we're excited for it. Brian Carnes, director of the PGA Championship. Thanks so much for being here. That's happening yeah, right here in Tulsa, me. of course, May 25th through the 30th. Have a great morning. We're excited. It's coming soon. All right. Deal. Bye-bye. You can check out kgrh.com for info on tickets and right now.